Hey there, it's EJ here with Beehive. In this Beehive 101, I'm going to be covering how to go through account registration so that you can get up and running as quickly and smoothly as possible, whether you're already signed up for Beehive or you're considering it. At the end of this video, you'll be well equipped to navigate our setup process. So the first step is gonna to be to navigate to www.beehive.com and click on this Get Started button. From here, you'll end up on our sign up flow. So you'll enter your email. And next you'll enter your first name, last name, and then a secure password. And hit join Beehive. So after completing this first step, you'll enter our onboarding flow. You'll have three options, whether you're migrating an existing newsletter, considering starting a newsletter, or if you're just looking around and exploring the platform, you'll choose one of those three options. You have different settings based on which one you choose. Of course, if you have an existing newsletter, there's additional steps like importing subscribers. And so this one is gonna show all of the different steps. So we're gonna go through this one, but just know that if you are selecting starting a newsletter or not sure, you will have fewer options than this onboarding flow displays, but they're going to be the same steps. It's just, you won't have all of them. So once we hit get started, you can select which platform you're coming from. This helps us determine some of the onboarding settings in the back end in terms of migration. But in this case, I'll hit other so I can go forward. Do you have any paid subscribers? If you do, we like to know this because we can migrate your paid subscribers seamlessly onto our platform. If you're using Stripe and you own those Stripe subscribers through a different platform, like through Memberful or Substack and some others. For the purposes here, I'm going to hit no. Next, you're going to select whether you want to migrate your subscribers from a previous platform. For this selection, we're going to say yes. And you'll have the option to upload a list of your subscribers here or copy and paste them. We're going to select do this later. I'm going to say test newsletter. So this is going to be the title of your publication. And we'll say keep going. Next step is to set the URL where your Beehive publication is gonna live by default. If you do plan on setting up a custom domain, you'll be able to do this later on, and we have videos about that. But for the time being, you can set something, and this can always be changed in your settings once you get started. Cool. So then next, we allow you to add some of these tags that help other newsletters discover you for things like recommendations, as well as helps us categorize uh, your newsletter so that we can understand performance across different verticals. So I'm going to say this is based education, medicine, and news, just picking three. We'll hit continue. You can upload a logo if you have one. So I'm not gonna do that now, but we'll save and continue. Next, if you have brand guidelines or specific colors that you like to use, you can go in here and enter them right here. We're gonna leave these by default. Lastly, and perhaps most important, is this verification step. For the safety of our community in terms of deliverability and sending, we have some countermeasures in place to prevent spam. This data is not publicly used, but it helps us verify you more quickly because uh, it provides evidence that you are a real person. So these aren't going to be connected to your profile, but they do help our support team. So I'm just going to put in my Twitter address, my LinkedIn address, this, and then we'll do that. So this data will help our team determine that you're using the platform appropriately. Hit save and finish. Oh, and this has to be the Twitter URL. Cool. Perfect. So from here, you'll get the screen if you are ready to upgrade. If you already know that you're going to be using our grow or scale plans, you can upgrade here. If you're just looking or you're not ready to upgrade necessarily, you can just hit this right here to skip the upgrade process. And now your initial onboarding is complete. So with that information, you're going to be landing on this dashboard. We have other videos that we'll be covering how the dashboard works, but you'll get this nice welcome message. And then before you can start sending, you're gonna to have to do two things. Your verification is gonna to have to be approved and you're gonna to have to actually confirm your email. So the email you use to sign up, we send a confirmation email. You'll have to click the confirmation in that email and have your verification approved. Once those two things occur, you're free to start sending. 
Now, we'll cover this in a future video, but there also is a 5,000 uh, person subscriber import limit. So if you have, uh, for example, a 10,000 person email list that you're migrating over, we're happy to up that uh, limit for you. You just have to reach out to support at beehive.com and we can get that covered. This is again, another one of those spam prevention techniques that allow us to control basically big lists being uploaded so that we don't have anybody spamming and ruining deliverability for the overall community. So we appreciate your patience and any inconvenience that represents. But once you get these initial steps taken care of, it's it really truly is smooth sailing from there. Thank you so much for your time and look forward to seeing you again in the future videos.